Ooh. So you guys want to learn how to efficiently manage and clear your Pokemon storage daily, right? Well, today I'm going to show and explain to you guys how to do it and how I do it on a daily basis. So hi, hi to all of you guys. So even before I start showing you guys me managing my storage, well, I managed my hair. Yeah, got it. Haircut. Awesome. But right now, let's go ahead and bring my screen up. And I'm going to show you guys that my storage is full. My Pokemon storage is full. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how I actually manage my storage. I don't normally get it to, you know, like full right now, which is 4,000 out of 4,000. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, what is the search string that I use, you know, to actually uh, immediately transfer away all my Pokemon, all right, which is over here, this search string over here, which um, I'm going to show you guys under the notepad, it will be much easier to see that way. But before I show you guys that though, I want to let you guys know that for you guys to see what I'm going to do later on, well, you guys must understand that we all manage our Pokemon storage differently. We keep different Pokemon. There are reasons why we keep different Pokemon or we like to keep certain, you know, like Pokemon which other people may deem that is stupid to keep them. So there's no right or wrong. It really depends on what you would like to keep. But of course, the three questions that I normally ask myself when I want to discard a Pokemon are, the first question is, am I going to power up this Pokemon? If the answer is no, high chance it will be gone. The second question is, does this Pokemon have any use for me in terms of player versus environment, meaning for gyms or raids, or PvP, meaning player versus player? That's the second question. If the answer is no, then um, high chance it will also go away. The third question that I will ask myself is, does this Pokemon have sentimental value to me? When I mean sentimental value, it means that it could be a Pokemon that's traded from other people, example like Trainer Tips or Zoe 2 Dots or Mystic 7. Those are some of the Pokemon that I've received from them and I've kept them till to date. And of course, uh, certain Pokemon that have legacy moves and you just uh, have sentimental value for them because um, they just look nice in your opinion, all right? Or you just like to keep them in your opinion. But of course, some of them have to go if um, your storage is just clogging up. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the search string, like I said, alright, over here under the notepad. You guys can see it's a very, 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 very long search string, alright? So, this, this is the search string that I use, alright, to do an immediate instant transfer of all the Pokemon that I don't wish to keep. First thing that I will type is actually H0. That would show all the Pokemon that were caught within the last 24 hours. Follow up by exclamation shiny because I do not want to discard away shiny Pokemon. And furthermore, you cannot mass discard shiny Pokemon. So you have to type exclamation shiny. Exclamation four star, which basically is, you know, not um, throwing away any of the hundo Pokemon. Four star, basically 100% IV Pokemon. And when you put an exclamation in front, all right, it's basically not. All right, so if you put exclamation shiny, not shiny. Exclamation four star, not you know, four star, not hundo. So basically, anything that's 98% and below will be transferred. All right. So another thing though, if you're actually looking for PvP Pokemon, this search string that you're looking at wouldn't work for you. I will put this search string in the description down below. This is what I use, but of course, uh, everybody will be different. All right. You can actually create your own, which I'll show you guys how to do it in a couple of minutes time. So the next one is actually exclamation shadow because I keep all shadow Pokemon, exclamation legendary because I keep all legendary Pokemon. And furthermore, a, a lot of them cannot be mass transferred thanks to them being shiny. And of course, last time when we couldn't mass transfer legendary Pokemon, exclamation team timber, they are timber. I do keep the timbers for traits, exclamation eggs only. Those are Pokemon that only hatch from eggs. Example like Pichu, Azurail and whatever baby Pokemon that can only be obtained from eggs, even Togepi. So exclamation purified because after, you know, purifying the shadow Pokemon, I actually do keep and check the purified Pokemon. Exclamation mythical because mythical Pokemon, you know, most of them also um, cannot be multi-transferred. Example like Mew or Celebi, etc. They cannot be transferred. Exclamation Gibble, exclamation Cran, Cranados. All right. So another thing though, if you guys uh, continue to look through, let's take a look at Beldum. All right. This particular one over here, Beldum. I actually put an exclamation plus Beldum. It means when you put a plus before the name, it's going to be not plus means family Beldum. So it will not show Beldum, Metang, and Metagross. All right. And also I put an uh, exclamation distance 100, meaning I'm not going to transfer any Pokemon that is, you know, uh, more than 100 
kilometers away, exclamation distance 100 minus. All right, so that's what I do. So any rates that I do from overseas that are tradable, example, if people were to send me overseas rates for shings or for aerodactyl, etc., even if I don't have it on my search string here, like shings is not here, but because it's an overseas one, say from America or from Europe, it will not get transferred away. All right, so exclamation arrow, exclamation blah, 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 which I wouldn't go too much into detail about it. Okay, but I'll show you guys how we can actually create a search string right now to, um, you know, help you guys out. So first thing you want to do is, like I said, type H0. All right, these are all the Pokemon that I've caught for today. All right, that includes Landorus, that includes, uh, you know, some shiny Pokemon probably, you know, there's one uh, Azuria over there, which I do not want to transfer, of course, and I cannot multi-transfer all of them, even if I want to. A lot of Electabuzz, which I want to keep also to trade to Auntie Gladys. And yes, I hatched a shiny Riolu also just last night and this was uh, within 24 hours so that will be transferred if it's not shiny but because it's shiny it cannot be transferred we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys that all right so i can actually uh you know select one pokemon top tap on the top right select all and then when i type transfer it'll say it contains six legendary or mythical pokemon if i say include all right but it says uh you know some pokemon cannot be transferred yes those are the ones that you know are shiny or whatsoever but I'm not going to do that because there are a lot of Pokemon that I really want to keep like the Timber, like the Litwick, like the, you know, Electabuzz, etc. Which will get transferred away because I've not favorited them. Once you have favorited them or basically they are shiny, they cannot be transferred away with the new system that has been implemented. Alright, so we're going to go back out again um, because uh, we have to go back to the map just to clear things up. I'm going to type H0. Alright, you can do this also exclamation shiny. So you guys can see over there on the top, the numbers uh, reduced from 169. All right, reduced to 167. And of course, if I were to type exclamation legendary, all right, it becomes 160. If I were to type exclamation distance, all right, 100 minus, it becomes 141. That's fewer and fewer Pokemon that are going to be transferred away. Exclamation, you know, like uh, Electa, the bus. All right, okay, you guys can see that. Oh, sorry, I spelled wrongly. Okay, you must make sure that you spell everything correctly. If you spell one letter wrongly, it's basically gone. Alright, and exclamation X only. Uh, see, it, it doesn't reduce, right? So if you type X only, okay, I got two Pokemon that were from X. So I'll scroll through and see uh, whatever Pokemon that I still want to keep. So if I, say for example, if I want to keep, you know, uh, Darumaka so that I can trade to my friends, then I'll just add on to the search string over here. And exclamation Daruma, okay? And then if I were to scroll through and see that, say, hey, I want to keep the Drillbur, all right, I will then type, as, oops, I will then just type um, exclamation Drillbur. Okay, just Drill will do. And then uh, exclamation, let's see, what other Pokemon do I want to keep, all right? What else do I want to keep? Yep, so uh, maybe let's say I want to keep a Gasly. Okay, so I will type exclamation uh, plus Gasly. Okay, because I want to keep Gasly's family to trade to Auntie Gladys to get more Candy XL for myself. And uh, say I want to keep Mudkip and uh, Swine Up also. So I will also do that. Alright, so slowly go through your list and see what you want to keep. So Litwick, I want to keep them. Uh, exclamation sw uh, plus Swine Up. Alright, uh, exclamation. Uh, let's see now, what else do I want to keep? Well, Timber, right? Timber and Routes. So uh, Timber, okay. And also, uh, let's say Routes. Okay. So I'm left with a, all these Pokemon 114 to actually transfer it, but this is not how I actually do it. You know, it takes too long to actually type it out. So after typing out the whole entire search string, okay, let's say you have typed out the whole search string, like what I've already uh, labeled over here under favorites. Okay, the question is how to save this search string? How to save this particular search string under your favorites to um, use it all the time. Well, I'll show you guys how to do it. So let's say you have typed out everything that you guys want to, like say, you see, I've put in an exclamation plus Chansey, exclamation plus XXXU, exclamation plus Snorlax, exclamation plus Togetic, exclamation plus Litwick, etc. What you want to do is, all right, to see, remember that, uh, remember the number on the top, okay? Remember the number on the top, it'll be 106. Alright, so once you have done that, press the back button, press on the search bar, and you guys can see that there's the recent search and also my favorite search there. So how to get the favorite search is to do this. You just need to do a long press on the thing that you want to, you know, like uh, make a favorite for. Say for example, if I want to just uh, favorite 
this thing. I'm just going to show you guys like this so it's much easier, right? So if I want to favorite, say on, because that's what I used to search for my mega Pokemon, my, my best buddy Pokemon, the po Pokemon that I'm working to best buddy. You just want to hold that and it creates, and it creates a favorite over there. Okay, so you just long press it. Once you long press it, you can either rename it or remove it. So okay, you can remove that. I can also remove this because I do not want them to be under the favorite. So like I said, all right, once you have created your search string, which is this, all right, what you can do is you just long press it, okay, for just two seconds, less than two seconds, and you create a favorite. So every time when you just want to transfer away your Pokemon, very simple. Just go to your storage, go to your search, search, uh, type C more, not type tap C more, and then go to your favorite because, uh, you know, when you start searching for other things, your recent will just uh, keep going away and you can only see four recent searches. So go to your favorite, press your favorite, select your first Pokemon, select all, transfer, yes, and they'll all be gone. And you basically just click your storage that quickly. So because I did not, you know, um, transfer away the Darumaka, which is what I want to keep, this Lopani is an overseas Pokemon. Alright, and uh, this swine up is what I want to keep the trade to Anti Gladys also, and also is from a remote raid, and uh, this one is also from a remote raid. Alright, and also Esper is also from a remote raid, and uh, yeah, I kept basically all the Pokemon that I want to keep, including this uh, survivor, which was also a remote raid invitation from overseas. This Hitmon Chan is also over overseas, overseas. So any of these Pokemon that are more than 100 kilometers away from Singapore, where I am at. Right now that I trade to Anti Gladys, we will guarantee a Candy XL obtain for the Pokemon that she's trading to me also. So other than that though, after I'm done with you know that search string that I just did with you guys, I will actually uh, tap on the search over there, tap on the C less, alright, and also type tap on the legendary Pokemon and individually uh, you know like transfer away the legendary Pokemon. Though you know you can put them under the search string also, but um, I sometimes just want to take a look at what I've caught, number of legendaries or so. And I've caught in a certain period, so that's why I normally do it manually like this or so. So, uh, hopefully you guys uh, found this uh, video uh, a little helpful. And uh, hopefully you guys will utilize this way of you know, transferring your Pokemon to help speed things up for you guys in terms of how you guys can play Pokemon Go. Of course, a lot of people are sending me more raid invitations right now. I gotta see that. I gotta also connect my Ball Blast because just now I, I couldn't uh, catch any Pokemon since my storage is full just for the sake of making this video for you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you know would uh, utilize this to help in your gameplay and especially it takes just less than 10 seconds to transfer more than 100 Pokemon one shot instead of you know one by one tapping 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 on each of them I know a lot of you guys be saying to yourself that oh you guys are worried that you guys may transfer away a certain Pokemon that you guys want to let me tell you guys this I've never accidentally transferred away a Pokemon that I do not want to after using this thing as long as you type in the search string correctly and and use it correctly, you will not fail, alright? So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video, alright? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye!